HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Jaden, another defeat, but it felt like it was a real tough result for you guys to take. Yeah, it was a hard, hard one to take because we played so well for so long. I thought we didn't give them time on the ball and the game plan, it really worked to be honest, but we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, which is disappointing. How important is it that we get that clinical edge back in games? Because we created chances, like you said, first half, the start, second half. It's important because you get little chances, like for example, pitch's chance and on another day scoring that. And I think once we get one or two goals, we will put them in the back of the net, it be easier for us. What do you think it is to, to get that back? Is it confidence? Is it just <coughs> one or two to go in? Um, I wouldn't say it's a confidence thing because training's well, everyone's training well, but we just need yeah, one or two. We need to get in a rhythm and make it a habit, really. You mentioned, obviously, how the game plan yeah. worked, especially for the first hour. You could see Mark Hudson's style really coming through. Yeah, um, I think me as well and the team, we feel more free on the ball. And as you can see on the pitch, we do play a bit of football and it's just disappointing we couldn't at least get a point today. It's only been two days since that was introduced against Cardiff City and you can see already there's been leaps and bounds made into today's game. Yeah, as again, like Cardiff as well, it's a hard one to take, but that's not football. We need to start getting results. It's not about how well you play for so many minutes or you need to get results. And obviously, with that style, it's very high energy, pressing, keeping the ball. <coughs> Is it harder because of how different it was to keep that going for a longer period of time? Yeah, it's harder, but when you work hard, you get rewards. And that's why I say it was disappointing that we lost the game today. Do you think it's a case of that developing over time as you have more training sessions where they match what you do in a game with the high energy? Yeah, I think um, Skip, what he does for us in training, I think it shows on the pitch and everyone believes in Skip and his game plans and I think games come thick and fast and I think it will pay off, it should pay off soon because we do play well, we have been playing well. And obviously it was your first start in the Skybet Championship. Result aside, you must be delighted to get out there. Yeah, it's a good feeling, especially in front of the home fans. But again, I'm going home disappointed because we couldn't get the result today. How hard did you work to get your first start? Uh, quite hard to be honest. From, from pre-season, it's every day. I've got to keep working hard. It's not it's, My job's not done because I've got my first start. I need to start again the next game and the game after that. Did you see this pre-season as kind of your big chance to stake a claim? Yeah. I did. Um, I knew I'd get the chance with the first team, and I thought, my age, I'm nearly turning 21. I've, I've got to take the chance, and I feel like I did, and I've got to keep going, to be honest. You've obviously got a great relationship with Dean Whitehead, Mark Hudson, from being in and around the academy last yeah. year. How does that help? <clears throat> it helps a lot. Like today, my first start in front of the home fans, as I said before, I just felt like it was a normal game. Um, it made me feel comfortable, like team meetings, Skip made sure the team were there behind me and that just made me feel comfortable. Like when I got on the pitch, the first few minutes I felt sharp, I felt bright and I just think it's a good type of relationship like that. Now obviously we've got a full week of training before Luton Town away. That will really help <coughs> to kind of further develop this style and to last the performances for longer. Yeah, it will. We've got to go in tomorrow watch the game back obviously and we've got to just move on. Can't do anything now that we've lost, we've got to move on because games come thick and fast.